Hello and welcome to the third tutorial of my RPG tools. Today I will show you how to quickly set up a project using my example project. So we will start the tool again. But this time instead of creating everything from scratch, we will open a project and by default the example project is already selected so you just need to press OK and to make sure everything works correctly you can check that there is some data in the data editor for example there should be some custom stats yes so they look similar to the ones we created in the last tutorial. So we have attack types, we have damage types, and there are also some scripts, some Lua scripts. And very important, we also have some UI. So I can quickly show you how that looks like in the in the editor, so here you can see the example UI. It's uh, uh, most of it is currently hidden. I can show you how it looks like in the game. So when we have a level, then we use the play mode. Then we can select the interface state, and if you select in game, then you should see the default HUD. And I just used um, graphics which are free to use for everyone, so they they don't look that nice, and th uh, they use different styles, so they are meant to be replaced by you if you develop your game. But uh, you have um, most of the features already implemented, as you can see here. So here you can see. You have your list of abilities. You can unlock them if you have if you have enough skill points for that. You have a quest log. You have a text log. You have your ability bar, your equipment, and your inventory. And then you can just replace the graphics with whatever graphics you want to use. And the spells should also work, so that's that's a built-in particle effect, which I showed you in the last tutorial. And yeah, you can change your equipment. So when you equip your bow, for example, you directly see it here. And the same for the sword. So that's a very good starting point, and then. You can click on Save Project As and then create a new folder with your project. And it doesn't need to be part of the RPG tools, so you can just save it anywhere else. But in my case, I will keep it like that. And let's call it Tutorial Project. And just to make sure everything worked correctly and to show you how it looks like, I can show you the folder structure. So when you save the project, it will automatically copy all the files in the project folder, which contains all the graphics we just saw and the UI state and the characters. and all the icons and stuff like that. So here you see everything. And as I said, these are graphics which are free to use and I added credits for everything. So you can see where I got them from and they are meant to be replaced by you. But yeah, this project contains everything needed and from now on you can start develop your own game. Um, one thing which is important um, because 
everyone uses different graphics you need to check if the character which I use exists on your machine. So I I created one character, orc male, and um, you can check it in the character editor. Here it is. Um, Scale is too large, so that's how he looks like. But if you don't have this orc, so you get it on Patreon from PV Games, but if you don't have it, then you can just replace the character with your own one. So then you would just need to create a new character and then save it. We can just quickly do that. So I will create a new character and um, let's say you want to have a cleric and um, give her some basic equipment. And um, yeah, maybe change the color a bit. How about that? And then we can save it. Then you can just replace it here. And then we can use a proper name, we use cleric, which could be displayed in the hero selection. And then when you launch the game, you should start with this character. As you can see here, um, this is a feature I implemented recently that textures are loaded in the background so you don't have any lag, but then you see the textures flipping in. Uh, you can also turn that off, but uh, it's nice for quick testing so you don't have any waiting times. Okay, that's it for this tutorial, but I will create a more complex tutorial very soon. Thanks for listening. Bye.